Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty video and this is my first Black Ops 4 video of the official Black Ops game. Um, you know, of course I made videos in the beta, but this is it. The game is out, it's here and wow my first impressions are i'm enjoying it i'll probably talk about that more in another video but today's video we're going to focus on how to actually rank up fast because it's similar to other call of duties but there are some things that are different i've done a little research myself as well as playing the game for you know hours since it came out i basically been playing it non-stop for like three four hours since it came out and i figured out what i think is the best ways you know these early tips on how to rank up fast we're going to cover that all in today's video now if you guys could smack a like let's go for a thousand likes for the first black ops 4 video that'd be amazing if we could hit that Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. Like I said, I'm going to be uploading Black Ops 4. I'm going to have another video coming out right after this, talking about some of my favorite classes that I've been enjoying so far. And the videos are going to be rolling, guys. I hope you guys are going to enjoy the content. Drop a like, and let's get right into it. So, basically, how XP works in this game is it works off a multitude of different things. Completing challenges, getting medals, getting kill and score in-game, playing the objective. A bunch of things, as well as match bonus, go into what gives you XP. So, there's there's no exact sort of formula that you can calculate like oh this is the best game mode this is the best game mode now some game modes that i've found have given a great amount of xp are the game modes where you're playing an objective you know things like domination things like the new game mode control as well game modes where you're playing the objective and also killing and racking up a high score while winning the game and the reason why winning the game is so important is because of match bonuses which have always been a thing in call of duty and this gameplay right here i'm playing some domination on firing with the Rampart 17, which is basically like the SCAR, or like the ACR reminds me of because that's like no recoil in this game, on Fire and Range, and I was able to get 30,000 XP from this one 10 minute match, which is absolutely insane, and that is without double XP. So the first thing is that if you guys do want to rank up fast, there is a double XP promo going on with Monster Energy. Uh, basically, if you buy like big boxes of Monster, you can get codes for double XP. However, you can only use one hour's worth of double XP per day, so that is to stop people from you know stocking up and just farming to max prestige in the first day and winning the race and different stuff like that but that is a way to rank up fast and that is like the only way to get double xp as of right now it's on monster uh monster energy in the boxes i'm not sure if it's united states only I, I don't really know the details of it but that is one way where you're able to get double xp but the best way to rank up fast in my opinion right now is to play objective based game modes with a party and this is this is why okay so when i first got on the game i was getting a good amount of xp you know i was getting around 10k you know 12k 13k a game but i was playing solo i was taking some losses i was winning some games and when you're playing solo you have to sweat so unbelievably hard especially because players on the game right now anyone who bought the game and is playing at midnight or you know the the late night release they're obviously big fans of the game so when you get a party together and what i recommend is a party of players around uh either two players or three players total is what you want to get um in this game i was playing with me myself and then two of my buddies i think and that's a perfect example because that pretty much guarantees if you have a core of good players you're going to win the games which will give you huge bonuses and match bonus but there still will be score to go around and that is also a very very big key so uh game modes where you can get a lot of score control and domination i really think these two are the best two game modes to rank up fast of course it all depends on how you are as a player though right if you can win free-for-all games in like three minutes every single time or three to five minutes those you can knock out like eight to twelve kxp so if you're a very good free-for-all player knock that out and play free-for-alls over and over if you're great at snd and your party is great at snd play that you know it, it doesn't you don't need a specific game mode I, I find that everything is fairly balanced in this game but if i were to pick a game mode it would be either control or domination making sure i'm playing the objective and killing on the objective as well because that will give you your estimated kills in action as well as your objective score and that just just multiple multiplies everything and it makes you you know level up a little bit faster so that's the in-game score and stuff like that what else is there to level up there's challenges of course and challenges are huge to level up now what i can tell you guys about challenges of course you can check them in your barracks you can go through in your combat record and look and, and, and complete challenges individually but if you want a more broad guide to do it using different weapons and leveling up different weapons to the max 
every time you're leveling up a weapon, that's XP. You're getting weapon XP, but it's also converting into normal XP because you're unlocking challenges with that weapon. So example, some challenge might be get 20 kills with the Rampart, get 20 kills with the Rampart with the Reflex Sight, get 20 kills with the Swordfish with the Silencer on it, you know, different stuff like that. And if you're using a multitude of weapons, as well as switching between different game modes, you can complete challenges fairly quickly, and that will come naturally as far as getting you XP. Another thing that gets XP sort of in the background naturally is medals and what medals are if you played call of duty if you played the treyarch series and black ops they're known for this when you're killing people medals are going to pop up on your screen and those are all xp you know the amount of xp a medal gives varies between like 100 and 200 but the more medals you can get the more jump shots you can get the more different kills like that you can get is definitely a way that you're going to you know level up that king slayer medal payback medals all that stuff does add up into xp and will help you rank up fast so in turn is there any secrets to ranking up fast in this is there any you know secret glitchy way to do it no but the best way to do it is by i'm giving you a realistic guide that will last you guys for a long time it's by making sure you're winning games that's the main thing it's it's similar to other games as well winning games and getting high score is obviously going to help you rank up as fast as possible and ensuring that you win the game is why i recommend playing with other players playing solo you're just not going to be able to win every single match especially with the game being random with how it decides to balance players you never know when the other team will have this happened to me when I was playing solo earlier You know the other team it might balance them and have them running with you know a, a party of two or three And then it's just you solo versus a bunch of randoms This can be very frustrating not as fun and that's why if you're solo I'd probably recommend sticking to game modes where you can carry to the win which would be free-for-all and TDM Because if you're a decent player and you can slay out you should be able to carry to the win in those games Also in free-for-all how it works in previous CODs and I'm assuming it works that way in this COD as well is anywhere in the top three is going to be a win. So I think free-for-alls are great if you can knock them out fast or TDM. But if you can play objectives and just have some competitive matches on domination or control, that is going to be the best way to do it. Now, ranking up, you can go up to level 55. And I know what people are going to ask, is it worth prestige in this game? And what should you use the prestige unlock tokens on? Now, in my opinion, prestige in this game... Um, of course, the prestige has basically always just been for fun and gives you something to do. And I, I've been thinking about it, thinking about like if I would prestige or not. I've been thinking that I wouldn't, but at the same time, prestiging gives me something to go for, gives me more levels to grind. And I'm thinking I probably will prestige. Um, however, you don't really get too much out of it. And you're just sort of resetting yourself. You do get permanent unlock tokens, and I'm assuming your guns stay leveled up like in other Call of Duty games. Um, but yeah, I think prestiging is definitely, it's going to be worth it if you're someone that wants an, an incentive to play the game and something to grind but if you're someone that just is a more casual player that maybe hops on once a week or once every two weeks or something like that i probably wouldn't prestige and just keep on the weapons because a lot of the good stuff is unlocked late in this game. A lot of the best kill streaks. I'm looking level 51, level 54, and of course you got a level 55 max. Then you have the Swordfish, which is one of the best burst guns unlocked at a later level. But you also have good weapons unlocked early, and that's how it's always been in COD. Is early and late is where the best stuff is. And early, I've been loving the the ICR is pretty good, but this Rampart 17, dude. I'm telling you, this gun is probably my favorite gun in the game as of right now. And then the MX9, as far as is an SMG. The thing with this Rampart that concern me at first is that there was no stock available on the ARs but honestly this one doesn't really need it I, I I really you know I'm a fan of someone that I'm a fan that of Call of Duty that plays with stock pretty much always on my assault rifles over the last couple of CODs but in this game I'm not sure if it's on every single one but stock isn't even available on certain guns but the fact that you can um, you know the strafe isn't too bad with it it does lend a nice hand in right there now this game is definitely a change of pace for Call of Duty but I've been enjoying it so much and one of the issues I've been running into is like do you heal or do you um, do you heal or do you reload and that's one thing that's been constantly coming up for me and I've sort of fixed that problem by running either hybrid mags fast mags extended mags it's all different on different sort of guns but that's sort of things that I would run um, as far as first impressions of this game because I know this video is about ranking up but I've basically given all those tips people want to know my first impressions I'll cover them a little bit briefly it's it's exceeding expectations this game is a lot better than i thought it would be and it's a, playing a lot better than the beta the camos are absolutely amazing as of right now there's no supply drop system yet but i think we all know that's on the way probably most likely and the maps i pretty much enjoyed every map so far now with it being 5v5 in most game modes i, I don't really see why they did that personally um 
it just it made competitive up to five players which i guess that was their their reasoning behind doing it but public lobbies do seem kind of empty especially when people back out you know this game was one where i go ham i actually had a slow start to this game but i end up with like almost 70 kills i think i think it's like 66 or something like that and i go absolutely off like uh i think right here yeah you guys can see here like this gun just melts people you wouldn't even know they have 150 health i just go absolutely off for like a five man kill cam here that at the end of the game um and it was just absolutely fun but i I think this game is a lot of fun. I think the longevity is going to be there. And I think that there's a lot of aspects that favor to good players, that favor to people that, uh, you know, are, know what they're doing a little bit more. With the specialist, with the grappler gun, you can use that to get height advantage over people so quickly um, with just everything to do with this around the specialist and the class setups. What I've noticed from the class setup is the perks are kind of weak, but everything else is absolutely amazing. Anyway, guys, I'll show you guys. I got 30k XP for that game. Pretty good stuff there. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like if you guys did. More videos to come. Like I said, subscribe if you guys are new. And hopefully these tips help you to rank up fast. That's about it. Have a Good night, and I'm out. Peace.